welcome guys um subscribe like and share and comment okay today we'll be doing n5 mathematics tivet college exam preparations okay so now here it says 1.1.1.1 say determine the following limits yes okay so now we have got the forms the indeterminate forms we have got um number one yes so now zero over zero that's an indeterminate form infinity over infinity zero by infinity infinity zero to the power zero infinity to the power zero infinity minus infinity right okay so now we're going to use um l hospitals rule right okay so on 1.1.1 okay you are given the limb when x note that x is approaching inf infinity right so you've got x to the power 2 plus 5x yeah minus 2 all over by x okay so now you ask yourself this function you can take this numerator as a function okay what will happen to the numerator you know as x approaches infinity right the whole thing will become infinity right and then now you go to the denominator what will happen when x approaches infinity now the denominator will reach infinity okay so now you have got this indeterminate form okay so what do we do you come and say the limb of when x approaches infinity so you differentiate here with respect to x so you are going to have power down x squared is going to be power down is 2x right 1 minus 1 is 1 okay i mean 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 okay so now you come here you have got plus plus 5 right and then constant is zero all over by one yes so you've got limb of when x approaches infinity to x plus five in number the one is that number so now as our x approaches infinity so we're going to have infinity as a as a final answer right when this x approaches infinity the whole thing will become infinity okay now let's erase this part and do number two yeah so now we're doing this problem we're done with this one okay so now when x approaches infinity x over x squared plus one right so now you, you look on the you check your denominator as x approaches infinity your denominator will be infinite right and then now you are also your numerator will be infinite so you have got the indeterminate form so you have to apply l orbitals in other words you differentiate you're going to have limb of x approaches infinity so here we are going to have one over power down is 2x all right now your numerator and your denominator okay so now here you will have um 
Yes, um, it should give you your one divided by your x will approach infinity. So you're going to have one over a big number here and that's equal to, to zero, right? Okay, let's do 1.2. Let me erase here. Yes, 1.2 given that negative log y is equal to lim of x approaches 4, 2 minus root of x over 4 minus x, calculate the numerical value of log y, right? So here we divide both sides, we can come and divide this whole expression by negative. So you're going to be left with um, log of y is supposed to, you can take out the negative, which is going to be lim of x which is 4, 2 minus root of x, all over by 4 minus x, right? When x approaches 4, so here you're going to have a root of 4, which is 2. You've got 2 minus 2, which is 0, right? And then here you go, at the denominator, you're going to have 4 minus 4, which is 0. So you've got the indeterminate form right you must be happy right you must be happy now if you have got in determinate form you have to be happy you have to smile so now you 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 are going to differentiate if you are still using l hospitals when x approaches four um you are going to have um this is going to be a constant right which is zero and then minus you're going to have minus x right you're going to have minus x okay yes um we know that root of x is supposed to what we know this um it's equal to x1 over 2 right so here you're going to have negative so that you're going to have negative 1 over 2 x to the power negative half right all over by here it will be 0 minus 1 right okay so we can see now we here already have got negative here don't forget that so negative and negative they will give you positive so here you still have got negative so you can come you can take out the negative half outside the limb so you're going to have limb of it's constant you can take it out right so now because this is x to the point negative half, you can write it as a positive exponent into 1 over 1 over uh, root x, right? Because that's going to be um, x to the power of negative half, that is equals to 1 over x to the power two, right? So which you can be right one over root x, right? You can come from there. So now you you have got negative one over two. So when you substitute your limb here, you're going to have one over root of four, right? Which is equals to negative one over two multiplied by 1 over square root of 4 is 2, right? So it means your answer will be, your final answer will be equal to negative 1 over 4, right? Okay, let me erase. Yes, so now we already know that um, our log, our log y 
our log y is equal to negative one over four, right? We know that our log log y is equal to negative one over four. Now the second question is if find y. Okay, this is y. You know that here you've got base of 10 if it's not written there, right? Okay, so now your y will be equal to your base, which is 10 to the power of negative one over four, which is equals to 0 0.562, right? Okay, now here, the last question saying that um, 1.3 1. 1. saying that determine the values of x so the f of x this one is discontinuous so this function will be discontinuous when the denominator is equals to to zero right okay when the denominator equals to zero because now yes you are going to have cos of x, this is the denominator, minus one, is equals to zero, and then your cos of x is equals to one, right? And then to solve x, because one is the values of x, so your x will be x cos of one, so your x is equals to minus or plus, isn't it? Cos of of one, right? Um, somewhere, somehow, you can include the, the 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 general solution, right? Some they can say plus k multiplied by um, three hundred and sixty. That's the period, right? Whereby your k is an element of an integer. Okay. So now here it means that your x is going to be minus or plus zero, but you, you can write that. You can just say your x is equal to zero or your x is equal to 360 degrees, right? Okay, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.